I'm Claudette Dean, and I'm so pleased to welcome you to Lumière, which means light in French, by the way. As an artist, I found that by and large, people like yourself who go to art exhibitions are very much interested in and intrigued by the process an artist goes through in order to create a body of work that will eventually become an exhibition. First of all, let me tell you that the process is never twice the same. And in the case of Lumière, it was a revelation, even to myself. What usually happens is that a theme is set out for a show and you work towards that theme for a specified amount of time. This was not the case with Lumière. The theme of this exhibition revealed itself once I had completed the paintings. Sounds strange? Well, very often in art, the finished piece is a revelation not only to the viewer, but to the artist as well. Have you ever considered the circular nature of things, how the ending of one cycle marks the beginning of a new one? Well, during the summer of 2006, after a one-woman show in Canada that I felt was a full circle event for me, I came back home to the Bahamas ready to start anew determined to reconnect to the source of my creativity to begin a new circle. Without a plan in mind and committed to painting freely with as little outside influence as possible, I secluded myself in my studio and began working. The end result is the exhibition you are about to experience, Lumière. What you'll probably notice first is that there are two types of paintings, single canvas and multi-canvas. The single canvas paintings were the first ones completed. Where the darkness meets the light depicts a woman in a curled up position with a giant butterfly behind her illuminating the composition. The position of the figure, for those of you who are not familiar with my work, is one that I'm very fond of using. This particular painting, however, differs from my usual depiction in that the figure is in fact myself. The butterfly no doubt signifying that a transformation is about to take place. The seeker depicts a woman on a path that leads up the mountain. The surreal elements in the composition, such as the mobile flowering trees that are almost showing her the way, and the three suns at the top of the mountains, indicate that the journey is symbolic and is no doubt an inward journey. The feel of this painting, again, for those of you who are not familiar with my work, is vintage Claudette Dean, especially the use of gold leaf, which I use in this case as a reference to the yellow brick road. Where lotus bloom. On first observation, you may think the composition is simply lotus on a pond. The multiple suns may lead you to wonder a little, and then on closer observation, you will notice that the yellow in the lotus are actually women's faces and the roots in the water are actually forming the rest of the woman's garments. Now everything comes to focus and all you can see are the women with faces turned up towards the sun. The inspiration behind this painting was a quote I read which spoke of how the beautiful lotus flowers bloom from the murky waters of a muddy pond. These women have come out of the darkness and found their light source and can breathe again. In full bloom, I continued the idea of woman and lotus flowers with the concept I had previously explored. Now, not only are their faces in the sunlight, but their whole body, conveying the idea of the woman being in full bloom spiritually, as the lotus is often used as a symbol for enlightenment. Lobe, or dawn, uses again a realistic figure, and again the figure is myself. She's sleeping in the stars, and then the sun is rising, and she is set on the canvas as if she is also rising from the horizon. Symbolic again of a new day, an awakening, the light after the dark. I painted this particular painting after a trip to Santa Fe. For those of you who've been there, you'll understand the native feel of the piece. As is obvious, there's a definite theme evolving here of duality, of darkness and of light, of transformation. You'll also note the use of multiple suns and of elements of nature. Bear in mind, again, that I have no theme in mind at this point and that I'm simply painting as I am inspired to do so. There is, however, a story beginning to be revealed by the paintings themselves. Now we come to the multi-canvas paintings. 
Here I will explain that an invitation came my way to participate in an exhibition in NASA in the spring of 2007. It was an opportunity I did not want to pass up, so at this point I laid my paintbrush down on the work I had been doing and began to think of a theme for a small body of work that would fit for this particular show. Since the sun had been so dominant in the pieces I had been producing, I thought of using a theme where the light source would be the focus of the composition, something light and fun. After sitting at the drawing board for at least two hours, unhappy with anything I'd been coming up with, I had a revelation. I could paint the sun rising and setting and rising again using multiple canvases, and I would call the piece 24 hours. The whole theme could be about the circular nature of the universe, about cycles and phases, and about how it all related to humanity and our everyday lives. The multiple canvases were perfect. They actually represented the puzzle-like nature of the universe, how everything is connected, the circle of life. The show in NASA was a success. I returned to my studio to continue where I had left off, this time with the vision in mind. I had found what I've been looking for, a new direction that spoke to my basic beliefs, a positive message I could share through my art. I began sketching with the idea of multiple canvases in mind and of actually creating a design, not just with the image, but with the actual canvases. I went right back to the sun and the moon. Luna was the first piece. Using seven canvases of varying sizes, I set out to depict the moon filling and emptying again with the full moon in the center. The moon has long had associations with woman, the feminine or the receptive side of nature, and so the woman transparent in the sky represents the moon itself, calm, serene, and powerful, controlling the tides, the ocean also having associations with the beginning of life, the salt water, the womb. Saul, I could not paint the feminine without painting the masculine, the creative, the other half of the duality. And so the man transparent in the sky actually represents the sun itself. He's controlling the sunrise and the sunset, strong and active. Here again, I use three different canvases and position them with the sun at noon at the highest point. Gestation, with this piece, I went back to the moon the idea of it going from empty to full and back again to empty, like the empty womb filling with life and emptying to give birth, playing once again with design using multiple canvases. Sunergy, back to the sun again, rising and setting and using ribbons to represent the vibrant, free-flowing, uplifting energy of the sun. The Artist. The Artist was a piece I began in 2004, which at that time, funnily enough, I named a work in progress. I continued working on it, and it became The Artist. It represents, of course, me as the artist with paintbrush and palette. When I took a second look at it, I was amazed at how well it fit with the piece Synergy, and decided it definitely had to begin this exhibition. This time had come. Consequently, I created a series of 12 round paintings called Synergy Wheels, which I used to connect the whole show together. Sun Signs. I would have been remiss to paint the sun and the moon and forget the stars, so I thought it would be fun to paint the zodiac. Since everything else in nature has an effect on humanity, I feel it's likely that the position of the planets at the time of our birth does have an effect on us as well. Also, the position of the constellations in the sky reveal the seasons. Everything is connected. Renewal. This multi-canvas piece put together like a puzzle speaks to this concept of renewal in several ways. The sun and the sky go from midday to sunset to midnight to sunrise, back to midday again. The tree branches go from summer to fall to winter to spring, back to summer again. The branches reach, reach for the sky and the roots reach for the water. Now that all of the pieces were complete, the story was revealed. The paintings speak of a journey of personal illumination, of how everything in life and in nature is connected, and in fact in a constant cycle of renewal, often referred to as a circle of life. Thank you so much for listening. Enjoy the exhibition as you immerse yourself in Lumière.